Hi, it's the 6th of May and just a few words about blossom compatibility and uh, choices of tree to put in your orchard. Uh, planning uh, the orchard is a difficult job and you're going to live with any mistakes you make probably for a very long time. Although as I've said and shown, um, if you realise when you planted your trees you end up with a tree in the orchard that is the wrong apple variety, you don't want it. Uh, you can graft it over to a different variety, but it's much better to get it right first time. This particular tree here, and we've got five running down that way and another five running this way, um, is called Ellison's Orange. Uh, it's got some good points to it, uh, and it's got some bad points to it. And I'm much more aware of these now, having grown it for ten years, than I was when I just read a few books. There's a little bit of blossom on it, but very little. Most of the tree hasn't got any blossom, although it's producing a lot of fruit buds for next year. This tree, I discovered, only really after I've been growing it for a few years, is highly biennial. That is to say, a good crop one year, no apples the following year. And you want to bear that in mind. Uh, sometimes a biennial apple might have such good qualities of flavour or whatever. If you've got maybe 20 trees in your orchard, uh, you wouldn't be worried about having a, a tree like that. You could even have two uh, endless and oranges and have them out of phase, so each one cropped on alternate years. You always had some. Uh, but that's not a good thing if you've only got th two or three trees in your garden. It's a disaster if you've only got one. Uh, next to it we've got um, a tree called Sunset. Uh, the blossom's almost finished here. There's hardly any blossom to see and it's got a very good crop loads and loads of fruitlets. Uh, again with sunset it's a very good apple. Uh, if anything it crops too heavily, it produces too many fruits and you really do have to thin thin it out. Little, little spider there, go on catch some flies you good fella. Um, anyway but this is a very very reliable cropper, always sets fruit uh, but again you've got to bear in mind you need to thin the fruit because otherwise you'll have too many. Uh, now here we've got a variety called Winter King, otherwise known as Winston, and you can see that most of the blossom is out. You've got a few uh, fruits which have set, another tree that always needs thinning. And up this way, you've got another variety called Sturma Pippin. That's a very long keeping apple, and the blossom's all gone over there. But what's this? Something quite different. This tree and uh, the ones near it are in full blossom. This is Orleans Renette, a uh, very highly flavoured uh, French apple which you can cook and you can eat. One of my very very favourite apples, very popular in France, uh, which is a good commendation because the French are more concerned to eat good food than we are in England sometimes. So note this, the, um, the blossom is full on this and it's nearly completely gone on some apples and on others uh, the blossom is, is, is all over. It's finished. Again here's another uh, tree, this is a red pippin good set, lots of fruitlets here. Uh, why am I showing you this? Uh, really just to help you uh, to think more clearly uh, when you're deciding which apple varieties to choose to put in your orchard. I would advise you to avoid biennial apples. Do your research. I've recommended a number of books. I can't you know, put a complete catalogue of, of, on, of all the information I have in my home. Uh, uh, on the fruitwise.net site I've put under books some good resources and there are web resources you can get but ask yourself the question is an apple biennial if so be very careful about planting it and also if apples have extreme early or extreme late blossoming uh, then be careful at least you want some overlap uh, worst case analysis you could plant say Orleans Renette uh, uh, or Winter King, both of which blossom very late, um, and you could plant Irish Peach as well. Irish Peach is a good apple, but it blossoms very, very early, so the Irish Peach will have finished blossoming before the Winter King or the uh, Orleans Renette will come into blossom, so they won't be able to pollinate each other. Uh, so think about that. Of course, if you've got, if you've got ten different varieties of apple in your orchard, um, then there's going to be enough uh, blossom out so it's not going to be an issue but if you've only got two or three uh, you need to be a bit more careful. Okay.